Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today guys, we're going to be retrying Ampharos GX. Um, basically a Thunder Box deck, Thunder Buddies, whatever the heck you want to call it, Lightning Box. Um, but this is just going to be an Ampharos build. No Pika Ram in here, no Raichu Raichu, believe it or not. We're just kind of focusing on Ampharos GX as our main attacker, alongside a few extra cards like Zapdos and Jolteon GX. Uh, Ampharos GX, unfortunately, never saw any play when it came out. It was a really cool idea, but got just overshadowed by Pika. However, this card is still like pretty average. Uh, power recharge, one for 30, getting all your electro powers from your discard pile in your hands. Actually really good to kind of keep electro powers alive. And then you use Impact Bolt for 150. Impact Bolt's a little sketchy though. You have to kind of time your Thunder Mountain really well to pull off a really good Impact Bolt, but it's a really good attack. You can do 150 and with electro power, you can rack that damage up. Um, and of course we have the extra Thunder Buddies in here, like Zapdos and Jolteon GX for backup. So for again the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor card game at TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever in any need of any PDCGO pack codes, if you're trying to get yourself Cosmic Eclipse codes, or for example, if you're trying to pre-order Sword and Shield codes, and you want you to get yourself some short Sword and Shield packs, they are now live for pre-order at Card Game TCG. Well, they've been live for quite a while, but if you guys want to pre-order any Sword and Shield codes, get them over at Card Cabin TCG. You can also pre-order the theme deck codes if you want. Evolution kit codes uh, will be in, probably in stock very soon too, because the Evolution kits have Frostmoth, uh, Galarian, Berserker, and also Rillaboom. Like, it's a really good, really good evolution kit. It's almost as good as team-ups. Um, so yeah, if you get any codes from Car Cavern TCG, make sure you use code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order to support the channel, help yourself out, and to support Car Cavern. So shout out to our sponsor, Car Cavern TCG. If you want to pre-order Sword and Shield codes, get them over there. So now let's look at our list here. So this is the list that I've come up with for our Thunder Buddies, Thunder Box deck. So again, your main attacker is Ampharos. It's a stage 2, 204 HP Lightning type, so stage 2 is a little bad. But because lightning type stage 2s are a bit easier to get into play thanks to Volkner, it's actually not that bad to get an Ampharos in play. Ampharos does have the support too of Electromagnetic Radar, um, which is really good, and Cherish Ball, so the search is good. It's just really coming down to finding your Mareeps. We do actually have a good Mareep here, a Fluffy Pillow too, but I also like this one because it can paralyze your opponent. And of course we got Jirachi to set up. Um, again, if you guys don't have Jirachis yet, and you guys don't like building my decks that have Jirachis in them, you need to get on your Jirachis, man, but these things are going to go up in value very, very soon. Um, well, actually, they've already gone up quite a bit. They're like, oh, each Jirachi is above like 20 packs now. Um, and of course, we have a few backup attackers like Zapdos in here, Jolteon GX, again, just some backup Thunder Buddies, and we got a Zero Aura GX, too, that can attack. Uh, the Jolteon is really relevant because we use Swiftron a lot of the time, because we actually don't ever use Electrical GX. Uh, we go on the items now. We got Cherish Ball, Radar. I would play two Radars, but I actually don't play Dedenne in here, so I'm not going to play that. Uh, we're not playing too aggressive, but Cherish Ball can also get us our GXs. And Radar is still relevant, but, I mean, both are good cards. There's going to be times where both are relevant. Uh, we got four Electric Powers, of course. One of the most important cards in this deck. Uh, I got our Great Catcher. I am playing a Rod in here as one of my uh, techie items. Mainly just here if we ever need to get Zapdos back. Um, this deck can do a lot of prize manipulation with Ampharos, Zapdos, Swift Run GX. So just having the Lana's Rod can help you out with Zapdos. Uh, four Pokecoms to find your Pokemon. Four Candies, you want to Ampharos. Two Switch. I would maybe bump the Switch up to Zapdos. We have Zero Aura though, so it's all Gucci. Uh, I got one Thunder Mound. My only Stadium is going to be Thunder Mound. And again, you don't want to use this right away. You actually want to time it really well when you, you know, go Coco Prism into like a Zero Aura or Jolteon. You really do, or actually use Ampharos' attack for one energy. It's really relevant to per time your Thunder Mound perfectly. Um, my supporters, we got three Cynthia, four Lily, one Kaylin Cynthia. I am playing both Volkner and Rosa. Volkner is really good to find you energy and an item. And then Rosa is really good to find you a Pokemon energy and an item. But you have to get knocked out. I got two choice helmet. The main reason why this is here is so you give Ampharos GX 270 HP. The reason for that is because it's really good to have extra HP. And this card just becomes more tankier and more bulkier with that choice helmet. Um, and you can even put on like Jolteon and give it 230 HP. I got two or three escape boards. Yeah, I, I got three escape boards. And, you know, the reason for a heavy count of a skateboard is mainly for Chirachi. We play four. And I also like having a skateboard with this Mareep also. Because sometimes this Mareep can win you games by stalling. And I got nine light energy in the deck. So yeah, this is my Ampharos GX deck. We're going to be retrying Ampharos today. See how we know it does on PDC Joe. And seeing if we can win a game or two with our Ampharos and French deck. So see you guys in a minute. All right, getting into a game here, guys, with the Ampharos deck. Uh, I saw that they were playing Fire and Colors, so I'm mean, expecting this to be a Baby Blounds deck. Sorry, I got something in my throat. I just finished eating lunch. All right. How are we looking here? Pretty good starting hand for sure, I would say. See, I think we're up against Baby Blcephalon. It was a Fire and Colors deck, so it's definitely going to be the Blounds, which will be fun, I guess, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how we do, of course. We have 240 HP. 
so that's kind of nice. They have to do 250 damage to one-shot my Ampharos, and oh, they're actually playing Macargo. Okay. That's fine. That's actually good. I'd rather Macargo, obviously, than Blacephalon, because Baby Blounds probably is a little hard to beat. All right, let's see what we're going to get here. Draw an extra card. We do find Rare Candy, which is good. That goes with our opening Lily here. We'll see what my opponent can do. Okay, they play a Heat Factory. We only, I think we have one Stadium in this deck, and I'm pretty sure that's our Thunder Mountain. So that Heat Factory is going to stay around for quite a while. And we, we kind of want to use our Thunder Mountain in, like, really smart situations. We don't want to use Thunder Mountain right away. We always want to save it for a really good spot. Looks like they're playing Birds to set up. Okay, this is going to be an interesting matchup for sure. This could be a Baby Blonde deck, though, still at the end of the day. Okay, it is. Never mind, it is not a Macargo GX deck. They build Cephalon deck. They could do quite a bit here. If that last card in their hand is a Welder... Ooh, they get rid of 2 energy. If that last card in their hand is a Welder, that's pretty scary. If I'm going to be quite honest with you. If that's a Welder, that's going to be a pretty bonkers hand. Especially with the Heat Factory in play. Okay, they draw 3. They're probably going to find a Welder here. Probably going to hit a Welder. They actually could Magma Ring my Jirachi and prevent me from retreating. Oh, will that find them Welder? No, it didn't. Alright, that's not bad, actually. Alright, let's see what we draw. To an energy, that's really good. We could put that on Mareep. I have not seen the internet thing pop up in so long. Alright, what are we getting here? Ooh, we didn't get a Pokemon. What can Stellar Wish give me? Gives me an Escape Board or an Electro Power. I think both are actually pretty good options. I think we should just take the Escape Board. We do play three, though. Okay, you know what? We're going to take the Electro. That's if we even attack them. Yeah, you know what? I think we have the... Yeah, you know what? The Skateboard's the more logical play here. I could just Thundershock them. I mean, they probably don't have a Switch in their hand. We Thundershock them. Then we try to Cynthia and do an Ampharos GX. Then knock out the Slugma. I don't really see a point in that. I think we just pass. There's really no need to attack with Mareep anyways. So like, no point. No point at all. We'll, we'll see what happens, though, for sure. The Blounds are definitely going to be a little bit harder to beat because they do have 120 HP, which is kind of bulky in all honesty, um, especially when we want to use Zapdos because Zapdos might be one of our good attackers here because they just one-shot my Ampharos and Jolteon pretty easily. I think Swift Run is going to be really good, though. A good Swift Run could be big in this match for sure and just an elm all right so no welder once again so they are slowly getting there both cephalon powered up but they have to play an elm because they didn't have welder we got auto from a cargo gx though i don't know if they're playing that though like what are the odds they actually play a cargo gx if they bench all these things they won't have any room for a second Blacephalon, which is pretty relevant to be honest with you so i don't think they're gonna bench that pidgey unless they're saving it okay no so they had another Blacephalon. They probably they can heat factory again. They already discard a lot of their fires though, and I know they play fiery flint, but they already have four in the discard pile, which is quite a bit considering they haven't used a single fireball circus yet. That's actually pretty relevant. In all honesty, that is pretty relevant. I got, mm, I really wish I had Eevee in play because I wouldn't mind using Electro Bullet here to set up knockouts on these Pidgeys. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind having the Jolteon in play. We just don't have access to it right now. I think we should probably focus on Jolteon, but I don't want Jolteon to get knocked out by Blacephalon. I think Swift Run is going to be a part of how we're going to try to win the game. So I actually think as good as it is to do Electro Bullet and, you know, take out their Pidgeys and stuff, sniping them, I don't think it's actually a good idea. And they are actually going to go for Magma Ring, which is smart on their end, but that's another energy they don't get in play for Blacephalon. And wow, that was a really good top deck. So we do have to find a switch here if we want to move, which is a little unfortunate. Let's try to get EVGX into play here. No. Well, I guess we did get it. Uh, we'll still wish. Okay. We got the switch. I think we will attack with Ampharos. Because I don't really see why not. I don't really see why not. We'll get the Eevee here. Hopefully it's in the deck. It is. And we won't use Impact Bolt. We're just going to go for a Power Charge here. And try to just kind of dwiddle away at the Slugma. Might as well play the Electro Power. Because we're going to get back. This way, the slug mug can get knocked out by Electro Bullet if it ever moves to the bench. Or Macargo, sorry, will get knocked out. That's Slugma. Okay. 
Now, Ampharos might get knocked out here. They would need quite a bit to get a KO, so we'll see. They've discarded four energy, which is pretty decent, I guess, if that's going to happen. They do have Heat Factor. If Heat Factor was not on play, I'd feel pretty confident about Ampharos living here. I mean, to be fair, maybe we should have, because we have a three retreat cut, maybe we should have tried to snipe with us Aptos. I still think we attack with Ampharos, though, because I think Swift Run is going to be how we're going to try to win the game. And we have... We have Rosa in our hand, so we have a lot of options here. Like, switch, Swift Run is going to be so good. It's going to force him to play Customs or Great Catcher. Or actually, no, Customs, actually, because we're not going to bench anything. We're not. We're trying to avoid benching any GXs after that. And then also, because they don't play Fionn, so they have no way around Swift Run other than Custom Catchers, which they might have because their hand is pretty big, and that Heat Factory is not helping our case. They just had to waste a Fire Crystal, though, so they are wasting some of their resources here, which I like. They need a lot to knock me out. They're going to need a switch. Yeah, okay. They have an Elm's Lecture. I mean, they have a lot to work with because of the Pidgeys. But the Pidgeys can only do so much. And they only got one Pidgeotto. Looks like they prized a few birds. All right, let's see what they're going for here. They might just Magma Ring for 10. That's not going to make any difference. If we had 210 HP, it would make all the difference in the world. But we do not. And then we just knock them out and... Make them find that welder, which they're probably going to have, but we'll see. They knock me out, then we swift run, try to use Jolteon, take two prizes, and then go from there, and then try to get another Ampharos. Because once we get a nice little power recharge, electro power play going, we should be Gucci. As long as they don't play reset stand. Plus, we have our Zap, though, still. So, we have a lot to work with in this matchup, I think. So, this shouldn't be too bad. Cherish Ball, let's get top deck. I'm going to save it, though. Don't want to put Jolteon in play just yet. I think we will bench Marie. We're going to force my opponent to knock me out. They do need quite a bit of energy, and they've played a Fire Crystal, but their hand is huge, so we're most likely getting knocked out here. Actually, if they do knock out Eevee, that's going to be pretty bad. But then I guess we can Stellar Wish Volkner maybe into a quad, quad play with Electro Power. And we'll see. Ooh, they do play reset stamp. There goes my Rosa. Okay, we got an energy. Two rare candies. Honestly, this is not a good hand if we're going to try to pull off a Jolteon. This is not the greatest hand. It's good they burn the reset stamp now, though, because if we ever did a play where we got back our Electro Power Recharge, those would just clunk our hand up and then clunk our deck up, kind of. So it's actually good they burn their arguably only reset stamp now when we had, you know, when we still have five cards left. So that's actually really good that they did that. Okay, so I'm expecting to get knocked out here. They need, well, they do need, they need two energy plus five. They need seven energy to knock me out, which they most likely have. They have so much to work with right now. Like, if we do not get knocked out here, that's going to be pretty dang lucky. We might as well go play Lottery if we don't get knocked out. But we're definitely going to get knocked out here, and then we have to go, I think, with Jolteon, and assuming we can find it, best case scenario, Stellar Wish gets us an Electro Radar, so we can get an Ampharos in play, possibly. Or best case scenario, Stellar Wish gives us a Volkner. Just any way to find a Pokemon is pretty much what I'm looking for. We do have that Cherish Ball too. So if we can just get a Pokemon here, should be Gucci. You know, if they actually don't knock me out, bro, they got they gotta have a knock. They gotta play Welder here. Like they if they don't knock me out, bro, like I think you gotta delete your Blacephalon list because it doesn't work. They have 18. They'll have 15 cards left. We have to watch out for Victini Prism Star, I guess, too. Let's see how this goes. They don't have unlimitable Cephalons either. Ooh, they got a smooth over. Yeah, that's going to be pretty bad. That's actually pretty bad because now they can guarantee anything they want, which is really bad because they can combo that with airmail. Not the end of the world, though. That actually might make things harder to deal with if they can get any card they want. If they do play any more stamps, they guarantee Welder. They can guarantee Crystals. They play two Crystals, though, which is a good sign. Wait, what? They put a beast energy on? Why would... Unless... They, they... I don't know why... What was the beast energy for? Oh, I guess they can do 200 damage. Oh. Okay, that may... Okay. That Slugma was actually... Oh, no, but they do 230 anyways. Wait, no. Okay, so that was actually a pretty relevant beast ring. Wow. Or that uh, Magma Ring actually paid off for them. That's very big sad. <laughs> no, Jirachi. Okay, Stellar Wish... There's the Pokecom. That will get us Jolteon. 
We gotta hope Jolteon can buy some time. I really, like, just don't know if they're playing custom, so that's the only problem. Zapdos, Ampharos. So we still have quite a few things left to work with. We'll just have to see how this goes. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a tricky game to win, though, for sure. Good thing we got the Electro Power. I just realized we actually would have been short. Okay. Knock this out. What are we getting? Skateboard. Play that there. Okay, so we have a Rosa, which is good. So we can guarantee an Ampharos. But I actually wouldn't mind also trying to get him play a Coco to try and use Ampharos' second attack. Now let's find out if they play Customs. There's nothing they can really knock out that matters too much. So I don't really care what they knock out here. Literally doesn't matter. They could play quad custom, though. Their hand is big enough to pull that off. They probably can do a quad custom catcher play. That would be insanely crazy on my opponent's end. If they actually pull off a quad custom catcher here to knock out Jolteon, bruh. Like, I'm pretty sure we have no chance of winning the game if they do that. Like, it's just no cap. We lose. Actually, I think I'm going to roll for Zapdos, right? Yeah, because we want to knock this thing out with Zapdos. We'd have to get an Electro Power, though. That's why I want to Rose and get the Electro Powers. Yo, if they actually... Yo, if they quad custom me, bro, that's that's just too good for, like, me. I don't know what I'm going to do if they quad custom me. They have eight cards left, though, so that's actually... We could deck them out with Mareep, maybe. I don't think that will work. If we play Summering Forest, maybe Mareep deck out could be a possibility. Because they could deck out. They have eight cards left. They're burning more resources. Wow. I don't think they have a way to shuffle their hand back in, so... I mean, if they don't Victini me soon, they might just lose to a deck out scenario. Kind of wish we did play Stamp, though. Stamp would be big here, but because they have that... That setup is just too hard to counter. Stamp won't do anything. We'd have to, like, Stamp Thunder Mountain them and knock out Macargo in the same turn. But that's not going to work. They got it. Do they not play customs? I mean, we haven't seen a single one yet, but their hand is massive. So they could have just been hoarding the custom catchers. The custom is pretty relevant here. Oh, they're actually going to switch into the Pidgeotto. Okay, we can take a Zapdos knockout, which I think I'm going to do. And then save Jolteon for a rainy day. Force him to have to do, like, a switch. They have seven cards left. Like, decking them out is possible. Hmm, six energy, nine. They played nine energy. If we could stall Macargo, I think we could win if we could do that. Oh no, we can't go Zapdos. Just realized. <laughs> we can't go Zapdos. We don't have a way to find it. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, we can Electro Bullet, which is pretty good. Just definitely hit the Blown, I think. I hope we don't get stamped, because this works out pretty well for us. Because we can Rosa for Zapdos. Knock them out. I mean, I guess maybe we should have not... I guess, like, because we can Rosa for the extra Electro Power and double Electro Power and knock up the stuff. Well, maybe we should have just hit the other Blown for 30. I don't think it matters, though, too much. But that might have been really good, especially... Well, no, we can't do it for us. Okay, yeah, you know what? Never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I did. But I guess at the end of the day, we should have maybe... Even maybe hit a Pidgeotto. Ooh, there's a Victini. I mean, now, the whole idea of decking them out, I think, was out of the picture. They are Welder in here, though. So, maybe they actually deck themselves out this turn. Victini, does it knock me out? Does not. Now, I guess they could retreat. They're still short. So, they Heat Factory knock me out. So they're doing 160. They need to get two more energy in the discard pile. So, by the Heat Factory, we just win. Because I... No, wait, what am I saying? Right, they can shuffle the energy back. If they don't knock me out, this is going to be really good for us. We could even knock them out with Ampharos. But I don't know if that works. How many Welders have they burned? Three? Okay, that's good, actually. Oh, and they don't knock me out. Wow. I wish I saved the energy, because if we can draw a, uh, a Pokemon here, we could have attacked with Zapdos and them out. Okay, never mind. Um... Yeah, I think we just build this up. 
Wish we had Ampharos right now. I probably would have went Ampharos here. But this is fine. We can knock them out. We just basically don't want to get reset stamped. We have two Jirachis, though. We've already burned our switch. They have played a lot of resources. The fact that they're down th that many welders is really good. Jolteon obviously will get knocked out. They could even just knock them out with Blazer because they're probably prizing a few energies here. So our game plan is we have to go Zapdos. We just pretty much rely on not getting We have to go Zapdos and then into an Ampharos to win the game, which we can do. The fact that they didn't take a knockout there is huge. I really didn't think Jolteon would live this long. I did not think Jolteon would survive this many turns. I don't know if they play a second stamp, though. They have to fit so much in their deck, especially the Macargo lines. I really think clunks their deck up a little bit in terms of space. So I gotta say they only play one reset stamp. If they play two stamps, bro, I'm gonna cry. I don't even know if they have enough energy to knock me out. Or knock out another Ampharos, to be honest, at this point, too. Especially because we knocked out the Rick team. And they're down two crystals. They have three cards left, too. So if they even want a Welder again, we win. I like Unless they play Alana's Fishing Rod. What are the odds they play Alana's Rod, guys? Okay, we'll stuff on GX. That's fine. Ampharos can still knock it out with 180 damage. As long as we don't whiff on Electro Power. Yeah, now I'm glad I held the uh, Rosa. Because I'm actually, yeah, now I'm glad I hit this for 30. Because all we gotta do is knock this out to win the game. Again, we're really just banking on no reset stamp here. Wow, that was a good top deck. So we're definitely gonna Rosa first. Get Zapdos. Get energy. This means we can get Ampharos. We're not gonna put it in play just yet, though. Well, maybe we should. I don't know. The problem with going Ampharos now... Oh, you know, we should have gone Electro Radar and burned the two candies. That was a pretty... That was a big misplay on my end. What are the odds we lose if we go Ampharos? I think... I think just denying them a prize is just too good. Too, too good. Doesn't really matter what we take here. Yeah, I think we deny them the prize. Just basically say, there's no way you're going to win the game. Just got to hope we don't get reset stamped. We just got to hope we don't get stamped here. That's pretty much our last ditch effort to try to win this. We have game on hand if we don't get stamped. Because we just go rare candy and for selector power knockout. I guess they could Bursting Burn me. That would force me to find Zero Aura, too. I should have got the Radar. Oh, my gosh. Thinking about that play, I should have definitely gotten Radar. But Bursting Burn's not going to do anything for them. I should have went for the Radar, though. That was a pretty bad misplay. But I need the Candies. I don't know. Maybe the maybe that wasn't... Maybe it was good to not waste... Whatever. I don't know. We should have definitely gotten Radar, though. Especially if we need to retreat. And they are going to do Bursting Burn. Yeah. Should have gotten the radar. That's fine. We're not going to get knocked out. We're not going to lose anytime soon. That's game. That was a huge top deck. Oh my god. That was actually a big top deck. We're just going to clean house with Ampharos here. Alright, not bad. Ampharos Lightning Buddies, pretty good. Pretty good stuff, if you ask me. Pretty good stuff. It's really good they only had the one stamp. I really wish I knew how many stamps they played. I'm actually going to check. Oh, we get a team I packed open up. How many stamps did they play? Only one. Okay, so yeah. And they do... Okay, they did play two Great Catchers, so no customs. So they had the Great Catchers, so yeah. We would have lost there probably if we went Ampharos. Well, no, actually, I guess Mind Blown could not have never done enough damage. I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because we won the game. And I knew they weren't. I knew there's no way they're going to fit two stamps in the deck, right? Like, I was like, okay, there's no way they're going to be able to fit two stamps in that deck. So, yeah. Plus, we could have decked them. We could have honestly used Mareep and stalled them out, too. We had a lot of options there, I think, to win that game. All right, let's pull a full Arpika. Get a nine tails? Really? Okay, well, see you guys in another match with the deck then. All right, guys, let's go again do one more match with our little uh, Lightning Box Ampharos Friends deck. 
thingy my bobber here and see what we run into on pcgo here fighting psychic deck okay well i don't think this is a fighting deck so that's a good sign well maybe it is a fighting deck it might be malamar though but mal i don't know actually what it's gonna be i genuinely do not know what they're playing if they're playing a fighting deck i mean bruh what can i tell you we just lose we get an eevee start oh my gosh it's a bro moment well eevee should live unless they are playing a fighting deck then it's pretty unlikely i guess we guess we slap choice coming on and then go church ball Ooh, they're playing gengar mimikyu that's actually kind of bad we play a lot of trainers in this deck like over like maybe 50 60 percent of our deck is items okay that was a good top deck this matchup might be a little tough we can vouch though. I guess like the scary thing is they have healing. They can almost army too if we're not careful. <sighs> they got a green. I was hoping they can't get a little fossil thing down this turn. Could body them though with one Jolteon. I'm gonna have to burn a lot of our hand here. I don't know if I like that they're going first. Cause they can't do horror house when we just pass. We can play a few items though. From our hand. Definitely gonna go into Jirachi, 100%. Let's see what Poke Gear gives them. Blaine's Quiz Show. I right, say we draw another Jirachi. I'm fine with that. We're gonna keep our resources kind of spare here. Take Volkner, I guess, for Electro Power. Or uh, Skateboard, sorry. Might as well play it. We'll Skateboard the Jirachi. And pass. I mean, I know I should have been the other Jirachi, but no, then they item lock me. Because they probably have Hurricane Yamastar here. Okay, well, the Choice Helmet might help us a little bit. It does give us 250 HP with Jolteon, technically, because we have that extra 30 boost. So they have to get a little bit more items. Like, as long as we play a little cautious here, we should be okay. But then they have Surprise Box. We're definitely going to Swift Run GX them, I think. If we be a little careful while we bench two, we should be okay. I think we're going to be a little cautious here, though. We'll see if they go Horror House. If they Horror House me, we're not going to be able to attack them. Maybe then I should have played the Cherish Ball, because then I could at least went for a Swift Run. But then they soften me up, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'd rather lose Jirachi anyways. The Amistar is pretty freaking annoying, but we can hopefully manage with it. As long as we draw good enough, we don't have to worry about that item lock. Okay. We'll see if they go Horror House or not. I guess ugh, they could Horror House and then custom me up. Oh, uh, that's super annoying. They could do that. Cherish Ball, probably getting another Gengar. They could play Trevnor too. No, they get nothing with it. Okay, that's weird. I guess they prize another Gengar then. Ooh, they're going to peeking red card me. They're definitely going to be giving me a new hand here. Which I'm fine with because if we can draw into a supporter, we get some leeway. So they can I go Jirachi. And then I get Jolteon. And I Swift Run them. The one thing I'm a little scared of is those they're healing. That's like the one thing I hope they don't have a lot of is they don't have a lot of heals. They're actually gonna give me a new hand of six. Okay, okay. All right, nice. The less trainers we get, the better. This is a good hand too. Surprise box, they're gonna give me a switch or a Volkner. They're probably gonna give me the Volkner. All right, I guess they would give me the switch. Okay, whatever. Let's we'll see if they knock me out here. Ooh, they're gonna horror host me. Pretty annoying. I guess we just hope they don't have customs to knock me out. Now we'll have to bench Marie. We could use the other Marie too to put them to sleep for a meme. If we have some reinforce, I'd definitely go for that. Okay, there's a coach. No green, which means they can't dig for their great or custom catchers. That's a good sign. Chaotic Swell is kind of annoying, though. That's actually going to get rid of any potential Thunder Mountain plays. Okay. 
Let's see if they have it. Okay, they don't. They're just gonna knock me out. This is fine. I think we're in a decent spot. Swift Run GX is gonna be big. We're not gonna bench anything either. Alright, if I prize Jolteon though, bruh, this game's all over. This game is all over. But we got it, we got it. We got the Jolteon. Just gonna hold the hand. Uh, I do wanna get a. No, we need an Electro Power. But I also want to save that Vulcan for Rare Candy, but we should be okay. Swift Run. So now the only thing that can get in my way is potential healing cards. That's like the one thing I'm scared of right now, is the fact that they can just easily heal their Gengar Mimikyu here. And if they do heal, that's going to make it really hard for us. Okay, let's see what they're going to do here. There's a chance they hit a Mixed Herb. There's a chance they Malolana and switch. They have a massive hand. So that's what I'm kind of scared of here. Yep, there's the freaking healing card. Uh... It's a good thing they bench other Gengar. We can afford to bench two Pokemon now. Now it's like impossible to knock this thing out. That's just amazing. Alright, they're not doing too much damage though. Finally bench you. Finally bench you. We can kind of just play it cute too. And uh, just play no cards from our hand and prevent them from doing much damage. So we're not in any rush to play Lily. There's no point. Unless we wanted to dig for Electro Powers. But there's no way we're going to get both Electro Powers off that. Man. Oh, that great potion saved them from getting knocked out, too, so we just needed one Electro Power. They're probably going to Malolon into the other Gengar Mimikyu now. That's a big issue. That's a really big issue. We might actually... Maybe we should have attached the Zero Aura, because I actually don't really think we need the Amphros here. We can't really use Power Recharge. So, maybe we shouldn't have... We should have built up Zero Aura. I think we're going to build up Zero Aura now. Switch and Power Plane. That's big. Stuff for switches though, so we can easily like move Zeroi. I think we have to attack with Zeroi here. Amphros can be a nice game finisher, but we can't really use it because Power Recharge just fuels Poltergeist. Ooh, they actually switch. All right, no um, no Malana. That's good. So if we can get Great Catcher off our top deck, we can knock something out. That's cool. Alright, nice. So now we can play our uh, little, little Thunder Mountain down, which is kind of cute. The Radar top deck. Now yeah, we're going to Lily and then discard what we can get rid of. Oh, great catcher top deck. Holy cow, that's huge. That's a huge top deck. I think I should... Retreat switch to in all honesty, then we only have one card in our hand. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good idea. I get, like, I want to save for Zero Orb, but like, bro, there's no way I'm not gonna pass that up. Uh, we're short knocking him out with Electro Bullet, which kind of sucks, but that's fine. We knock him out, take our three prizes. Gotta hope they're not items. Uh, maybe that is an issue. And that's an item, that's not an item. That's also not an item. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am blessed. See, if we didn't have a choice helmet, they would have just needed the two cards in our hand to knock me out with uh, Gengar Mimikyu. But now they don't. Alright. They could knock me out. They probably will find Surprise Box here. And then we need to find Tepu Koko Prism for this guy. No, oh, just a Poltergeist. Okay, we can't play items right now. Which is sort of annoying. It's fine though. We just swing with Headbolt. Hope they don't heal too much damage. And then we just take them out with Zero Aura. That's our game plan. So as long as they don't heal too much damage, we should be okay. Great Potion. If they do two Great Potions, we're not going to be able to get there. As long as we don't whiff an energy, we can knock them out. Come on. 
Come on. Don't do it to me. Don't heal again. We still need energy, though. Ooh, a Blaine's Quiz Show. I'm fine with that. So what does this stupid card do? Your opponent chooses... Your opponent's chosen a Pokemon that has Poltergeist attack. Guess the name of that Pokemon. If you're right, draw four cards. If you're wrong, your opponent draws four cards. Take it. It's obviously Zekrom, right? Like, Zekrom's the only Pokemon I know that has... No, but Manigirls also has Poltergeist. Wait, so if I get... I want to draw four cards. So I don't really care if I get knocked out. Oh, but they could Great Catcher the Zeraora. Alright, we're going to draw four cards. Because I actually want to draw an energy... We didn't get one, but that improves our odds of finding an energy. I don't think they knock this out. But well, then we can knock him out zero or probably. So as long as they just don't heal here, we're fine. This is why I don't want to give him four cards. I don't want to just fully heal this. So like, it's a little lose situation, I think, at the end of the day. So we just need to not whiff an energy here, and we are golden. Right? We could also get Thunder Mountain. We have a lot of outs to winning this game now. We have so many outs right now to win. Oh, they just concede. All right, well, I think I'll wrap the day's piece of video, guys, on the Amphros deck here. Leaving it with those two games, my point is Gengar Mimikyu. Stupid Blaine Squish Show, man. What a card. What a card. It got banned from rules for a good reason. But that'll wrap the video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video with some Amphros deck action. It's a fun archetype for sure. I might actually just want to fit in a Raichu Raichu in here. But other than that, the deck's pretty cool. Uh, it's a fun little deck to play. Um, yeah, but thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below. Time to reach 7,000 subs. And if you guys are looking for Sword and Shield codes, pre-order them at Card Cavern TCG and use code LDF if you get any Sword and Shield codes over there to show your support to the channel and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you guys on another piece of video. Follow me on Twitter down below, too, I guess, too. And bye-bye.